Howdy, my name is William Rumley. I'm the Fort Worth Municipal Court Director. Today I want to spend a few minutes to talk about uh, a part of the court that uh, many people may not think about, at least initially, and that's our administration team. So when generally you think about court, and specifically municipal court, you think about the judges, and we think about the clerks, and the marshals, and the prosecutors, defense attorneys, and the defendants. But we may not think about the administration team, which really um, is the center of the hub of municipal court in order to that to function. So today I just wanted to spend a few minutes talking about the great team uh, work that we have here in municipal court and administration. Um, so we do have administrative services manager who generally oversees our admin team. And then we also have a senior accountant. We have uh, several uh, account techs and a senior administrative tech. So let's walk through kind of the different things that they do every day to empower the rest of our staff in order to, for the court to function on a daily basis. The, uh, the first thing that uh, kind of process-wise we'll talk about is um, from the financial aspect. So obviously uh, as a court, uh, municipal court, we are a fine only uh, court. In addition to class C criminal offenses, we also have civil parking cases. And so as a result of either a liable finding under parking or uh, a judgment of guilt in a criminal offense, uh, there is a fine uh, collection aspect to that. And so uh, when we collect those fines and, and record those into that monies, we have individuals who ensure that A, whatever we are collecting is um, done in an appropriate process, and then that information goes to two locations technically. So there's the, the monies that we collect, and of course there's financial payments online, through credit card or whatever it is. And so uh, we do reconcile those on a daily basis and ensure that uh, whatever we're saying is collected has made it to two locations. The first is to the bank, and the second is to what we call our GL or general ledger to ensure that, that those match. So on a daily basis, staff is managing that, ensuring that. There's also payments that go out uh, from the city to the state, whether it's state court cost or uh, also can go to uh, maybe the local jurisdiction um, related to those cost and fines collections. So that's one component that we have staff who help support that. The next piece is really uh, what you would think of is every organization is gonna have both the finance collection but as well as HR. So we have staff who's assigned to ensure that, for instance, timesheets and um, HR processes, whether it's a medical documentation or those types of things. So on a daily basis, we have staff who supports the rest of the court in order to ensure that those things are happening, people are getting their paychecks on time, and then the next step would be our accounts payable, accounts receivable. So obviously we need supplies. Uh, here we're standing in one of our courtrooms and there's chairs and tables and, and all types of different things, pens, pencils, um, you know, information. So on a daily basis, they're ensuring that uh, staff has the tools and, and equipment that they need to be successful, whether it's a city marshal and a, and a vehicle and an MDC or the, even the uniforms that they have or whether it's a clerk in the courtroom or a judge and making sure that we have robes, so even in the facility itself, ensuring that you know we have janitorial services, we're paying the water and electric bill just like everybody else does, we have to do that. So we have a great team that does that on a daily basis. And then in addition, there's, a, there's another piece to uh, the admin team, it's called our budget. So we do are required to, on a yearly basis, prepare and submit a budget to the city manager's office. Ultimately, that goes to the city council for approval. So we have a team who works on that throughout the year. It's just not a one-time event, but throughout the year. They help to ensure that uh, we are maintaining our budget, whether it's revenues or expenses, and then also that we are managing and preparing for each year to submit a new budget. And then one final piece I just want to mention is our, uh, from an IT technology standpoint. So again, as I stand in this courtroom and it's, you know, we're up to 21st century, then, um, you know, we do have uh, computers and we have scanners, copiers, and we have TV monitors, so there's microphones. So there's all type of technology that's involved both here in the courtroom, but also for every staff member. And then when you think in addition to with COVID, we've really moved to a virtual court venue where we work with WebEx and uh, lots of other venues where we can virtually see folks, they can see a judge and have their case processed. So we have a technology group who, um, team who comes in and works both with the hardware and the software to ensure the staff have the training they need, the equipment they need, and for that we work um, in partnership with our IT department. And um, again, so just wanted to spend a few minutes to talk about a group that maybe not everybody would think of, which is our administration team. 
and the great work that they do every day to help us to be successful, uh, to help serve you as the citizens. So thank you and uh, have a great day.